I mean, Bitcoin dominance has been more than 50% for the longest time. Like if you look at now the amount of actually brain power in the space that is going to build on top of Bitcoin, I would be very surprised if it doesn't catch up quite quickly with everything on Ethereum. Of course, technically there will be some challenges and it will take a bit of time, but everything in a way has been kind of pioneered already on the Ethereum side, right? Um, so there's a lot of innovation that has been done and I think now can be condensed even in terms of timeline. So I wouldn't be surprised if it only takes like a couple of years, maybe two, three years for Bitcoin DeFi to actually overtake Ethereum DeFi just because of the size of the asset, the community, like man, everyone knows Bitcoin, like my, like literally everyone in my family knows Bitcoin. No one knows Ethereum. And I think the power of that, we kind of underestimate maybe in this in this industry maybe last thing i'll say about this is like with ethereum we've kind of tried to bring the assets to the tech platform right like we've even we've tried to bring btc to to ethereum like in different forms like wrap btc is the most prominent one right but in terms of liquidity like it's less than one percent of the total bitcoin supply that is kind of circulating on ethereum so it seems like bringing the asset to the tech hasn't really really worked so what's happening now is we're kind of bringing the tech to the asset itself, to the biggest asset, like nine biggest asset in the world, if I'm not mistaken, right? So now we're bringing the tech there. I mean, I think there's a bigger chance of succeeding that than the other way around. So um, I'm very excited about Bitcoin DeFi in general.